Hey guys, today I got a little different type of video for you. I'm going to step away from small engines for a minute and show you how you check your antifreeze in your car. What this is checking is uh, what temperature it's good for. Like this antifreeze I'm using here, which is pre-mixed, 50-50. You can see here, do not add water, 50-50, pre-mixed. It's uh, supposed to be good for 34 below zero uh, Fahrenheit, so we're going to see what it reads. Let me show you the tool we're going to be using. And we're going to be using one of these tools. There's different brands and different variations on these, but they all do pretty much the same thing. You want to fill it up with antifreeze, then the arrow will point at what temperature it's good for. You can see here the temperature scale. So what we got right now should be pointing right up here at the second number if the if they got it measured right on there. And you can buy these just about anywhere. It sells tools pretty much. Uh, you can go there and buy a screwdriver. You can probably get one of these. <laughs> So let's go ahead and check the antifreeze straight out of the jug here and uh, then I'll compare it in my truck and see what see what my truck's good for. Okay, I just put some antifreeze in this little jar here and since antifreeze can kill you or make you sick if you drink anything, I'm going to throw this container away afterwards just to make sure nothing's ever put in there that might be drank or something. <laughs> All you got to do is squeeze this and pull something back up in here. should be enough. It's supposed to be up at this line, so it is. And we're pointing at it just a little bit above 34. So it's actually probably about 40 what it's reading. So it's good. We know we get good antifreeze. In the back of the jug says freezing point 34 below. The boiling point is 265 and it's mixed 50-50. So that's uh that's what it's supposed to read. So they're the reading on the jug is actually right. It's kind of surprised. I figured it might be off a little bit. And the good thing about this, unless you're clumsy like me and always spill everything you see on the workbench here, you don't ever have to worry about cleaning it up or anything because you can just put it right back in your your uh, radiator or reservoir, whichever one you want to get it out of. Okay, and for curiosity's sakes, I filled up with water. With water, with water in there, it shouldn't even register on this might point up just a little bit. You can see the highest temperature on here is 10 degrees and water freezes at 32 so it probably won't even register on there. Now there's probably just a little bit of residue left from having that antifreeze in there a minute ago. This is just for curiosity sakes. You're not supposed to run water in your vehicle during the winter. As you can see it's not even registering at all so you know you got so you know you have pretty much no protection at all with water in it. Now it is safe to run water in the in the summertime but it's so easy to forget about it. That's what always causes crack blocks and freeze plug problems. So, always run antifreeze. So, with all that said, let's go actually test the vehicle. I'm going to test my truck. I got a S10 with a 2.2 engine in it. We're going to check to see if it's good. It'll probably be a little discolored because it actually needs flushed, but we're not going to do it right now. And uh, I'm just going to check to see what temperature is good for it. It should be pretty good because when I got it, it. Uh, it was real low on antifreeze and I had to put quite a bit in it, so it, uh, it should be good. Okay, this is your radiator here, and this is your radiator cap. Now, before I do anything else, I'm going to let you know ahead of time, do this when your engine is cold. If you do it when it's hot, as soon as you take this off, it's going to blow up in your face. And, and obviously, if you're pumping hot antifreeze out of this, it's going to be easy to get burned, or actually you can melt this if it's too hot. So always do this with the engine cold. Now, to test it, you can either get your antifreeze out of here or in your reservoir if it's full enough to get the tube down in it. I always check it with the uh, right on the radiator. And you're probably noticing my hose set up here for the overflow onto that reservoir. I had to do it like this because it was missing the hose that's supposed to be on there. I had to put that in there to keep it from getting pinched off. But it don't look so good, but it works right. But car, truck, van or whatever it's going to be pretty much the same anywhere you look at it so now you just 
put it down in there. Let it fill up. And it's not as discolored as I thought it would be. Looked at it a while back, it was more discolored than that. I'll hold it upright, it's saying negative seven. So actually I need to change the antifreeze in this thing to get it up to temperature. But luckily here where I'm at, it don't usually get below zero, so I should be good. If it looks like it's going to get cold, I'll probably go ahead and change it. But For right now, I say it's good enough for right now. But I recommend having it up to at least negative 20 or 34, depending on where you live. Then, once you get your measurement, you can just pump it all right back in there. And after you get everything checked, be sure to put this back on. You just gotta push down and twist it like that until, until you can't spin it no more and you're good to go. So, well guys, if you got any questions or comments, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I've been a little slow at answering comments, but I will get back to you at some point. It might be a week or two or even longer than that, but I will get back to you on it. So. Thanks for watching.